This is an unbelievable story, but it is true. A New Hampshire man says his trip to the carnival was a horror show that left him out $2,600. As New Hampshire Bureau Chief Michael Rosenfield shows us, the man says he was conned at a carnival by a carnival game. Henry Gribbom says he lost his life savings, $2,600, on a carnival game like this one. And all he has to show for it is this stuffed banana with dreadlocks. You're expecting to win a few things and, you know, let the kids have a good time. Um, it just didn't turn out that way. Gribbom says he attended a Manchester carnival run by Fiesta shows and wanted to win an Xbox Connect at a game called Tubs of Fun, where contestants toss balls into a tub. When he practiced, he says it was easy, but something changed when he started playing for the prize and the balls kept popping out. It's not possible that it wasn't rigged. Gribbom says he kept trying to win back his money by going double or nothing. He dropped $300 in just a few minutes, then says he went home to get $2,300 more and soon lost all that as well. I know it's a difficult game. I mean, I've tried it myself. I've done it once, missed probably 20 times. Fiesta Show says the game is run by an independent contractor who's worked for Fiesta for years. It's interviewing the contractor to see what happened. Are there any scams at all with any of the games? Not that I'm aware of. We've had a lot of these game operators with us for years. The traveling carnival is now setting up here in Derry, New Hampshire, but you will not see tubs of fun. Fiesta says the independent contractor that runs the game is not allowed to set up while an investigation is taking place. Because you get caught up in the whole double or nothing, I've got to win my money back. Henry says he went back the next day to complain, and the man running the game gave him back $600. Henry split with the banana and the cash and filed a report with Manchester PD. For once in my life, I happen to become that sucker. In Derry, New Hampshire, Michael Rosenfield, WBZ News. Well, you got to admit it, he has a certain amount of persistence. That's right. And, you know, we'll see and where this goes. And a banana with dreadlocks. You know, wasn't <laughs> a totally waste of How many people have event. that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, listen, we're truly sorry. But I'm not sorry about the weather. <laughs>